Mr. Algy, I'll put you here so you can get away in a hurry. Mr. Policeman, I'll put you here so you can see everything. Mr. Professor, I'll put you right here. Professor Herman J. Hotbox, and you are in the wonderful world of trains. Yes, indeed, that's where you are. Trains, 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 and they're all late. Oh, my. But you can talk. Of course I can talk. I have been talking for years. Started when I was 14 months old. And I might add, I'm getting mighty tired of waiting for the show to start. For I am the narrator and guide for the wonderful world of trains. Oh, yes. Wonderful world of trains. Late. They're all late. Late, late, late. <coughs> uh, pardon me, Professor. Have you been around long? Around long? Oh, oh, 65 years. Birthday's next week. No, no, no. I, I mean, have you been waiting here long? Here? Long? Too long, oh yes. Much too long. Waiting for the show to start, you know. The wonderful world of trains. Trains, hundreds of trains. All late, all late. <laughs> well, I'm looking for a man. About your height. Uh, calls himself Algy. A disreputable looking fellow. Needs a shave. Wearing old clothes. If you see him, let me know. Man, disreputable. Of course, of course. Ho, ho. Thank you, Professor. Wonderful world of trains. Late, late. They're all late, 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 late. Oh. I'm Argy Caboose. I'm on the loose in the wonderful world of trains. There's plenty of action, thrills, and fun across the hills and plains. Because you control the countryside. It's all at your command. The finest trains you ever saw. The switch is in your hand. So no matter how old or young you are, from six to sixty-five, when you're in the wonderful world of trains, it's great to be alive. Oh, it's great to be alive. Doom, dee, doom, doom, boom, boom, boom. Well, bless my soul, what have we here? Don't tell me. Let me guess. An ad for a dull razor. Oh, oh, oh. No offense, my good man. Just making a little joke. A disreputable looking character, if ever I saw one. Uh, Professor, I suggest you either stop breathing or back up. You're using up my air. Better still lie down. Let's both take a snooze. I'm waiting for a fast freight myself, you know. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, boys and girls of all ages. This is your master of ceremonies, George Tinkwistle, welcoming you to the wonderful world of trains. Now, for the first time, you're about to see a most remarkable exhibition of electric trains. Trains so finely detailed, you'll have to look twice to tell them from the real ones. And to give you a first-hand description of these amazing trains of yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we are honored to have as our guide an old train man, an expert on trains, track, and travel, Professor Herman J. Hotbox. Professor Hotbox, eh? Fast asleep. Ah, oh, too bad. Pity to wake him. He needs his sleep. But no matter. For no man knows more about trains than I, Algernon Caboose. You, boy, pop those eyeballs back in their sockets and come alive. You look like a puppet. Come on, boy, I need an assistant, and you're it. They can talk. 
and move all by themselves. I declare, boy, you act like I wasn't real. Come now, throw that switch. The wonderful world of trains is about to begin. <clears throat> begin? Did I say begin? Why, the fact is the wonderful world of trains has been going on for years. Ah, yes, wonderful, wonderful trains. The very sight of them recalls the romance of faraway places. How well I recall my days as gatekeeper in the little railroad town of Wet Moccasin. Used to sit by the hour, hand on the gate, waiting for the silver media to highball on through. For five years I just sat there and marveled at the great speed of that train. A train too fast to see with the naked eye. And then, that day, two o'clock on a Thursday it was, I found out the truth. That blur I thought was the media turned nothing but a smear of hair oil on my sunglasses. Oh, the disappointment of it all. That silver media never came closer than 50 miles from Wet Moccasin. Seems they ran out of track and never told me. Five years I waited, five wasted years, but through it all, my love of trains never dimmed. I still get a thrill when I see those steel wheels clacking along the rails. Ah, the thought of them, speeding along the hills and valleys, gleaming monsters of steel, racing, racing over bridges, and signals flashing and no. <laughs> It overwhelms me, boy, overwhelms me. What was that? A diesel streamliner. I thought you knew all about trains. I do, boy, I do. But I'm a freight man myself. Ah, I think I hear her coming now. A fully loaded freight. A truly magnificent sight. What kind of a freight is that? That's a United States Navy diesel freight. The roughest, toughest fighting train there is. Hmm, well, what do you know? A whale with a top hat. That's not a whale, Algy. That's a replica of a real Navy submarine. And it really works. Ho, ho, ho. Knew it all the time, boy. Just testing you. Mighty smart young fella you are, too. Reminds me of myself when I was a boy. A positive genius I was, too. As my dear mother used to say, Algernon, she called me Algernon, Algernon, she'd say, science has been waiting for a head like yours for over a million years. Boy, did I hear you say that submarine really works? You bet she works. You take her off the special car and launch her. She dives cruises underwater, and surfaces, just like a real sub. Oh, yes. When the test run is over, you'll load her on the special sub-carrying flat car. Oh, very fine, very fine. But boy, you're forgetting that I, Algernon Caboose, am the narrator here. I'm sorry, Algy. I didn't mean to take over. Here, you tell us about the next car. Oh, yes, of course, of course, the next car, yes. A magnificent specimen. Perfect in every detail, flawless in design. It's the, uh, the, uh... Algy, describe it. Everyone wants to know how it works. Ah, yes, the train. Oh, yes, beautiful, isn't it? It's called a, a, mm, a memory lapse. You mean helicopter car, don't you, Algy? Took the words right out of my mouth, boy. And this real-looking helicopter takes off from its specially designed flat car deck. Watch this. I'm watching, I'm watching, boy, from a distance. Off she goes, into the air. How's that for action, Aldi? Action? Sounds, sounds, boy. I'm quivering with excitement. Ah, wonderful feeling it is, too. Aldi, get off the rail and tell us about the next car. Oh, yes. <coughs> oh, the next. Ah, uh, oh, yes, the magnificent... A uh, banana car. Oh, four ripe bananas. Uh. Algy, those are not bananas. This is a missile-firing car. 
And I am mounting these four missiles for firing. Ah, yes, just testing to see if you're wide awake. A little trick of mine, you know. The missile firing car, of course, with missiles that really fire. Really fire? That's right, Algy. These missiles really fire. See that freight car on that siding over there? <laughs> That's my kind of freight car. Say, boy, did I ever tell you how I pulled a freight car full of apples over ten miles uphill just for the exercise? Could have pulled it another ten if I wasn't so full of apples. <clears throat> what you gonna do now? Never mind, Algy. Just give me the countdown and watch that freight car. Ten, nine, eight. Gotcha, boy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Disaster. Complete disaster. Zounds, boy. Look what you've done to my favorite freight. Oh, the pity of it. Don't worry, Algy. That car is made to fall apart when it's hit, but you can put it right together again. Excuse me, son. Did I hear you speak to someone by the name of Algy? Well, he was right here a minute ago. Missed him again. Uh, thank you, boy. Relax, boy. Algernon Caboose is back, ready to expound with unfailing accuracy the ecstatic beauty and magnificent perfection of the wonderful world of trains. Ah, oh, the wonder of it. The whole countryside full of realist life electric trains. Everyone complete down to the finest detail. Boy, unless these old eyes of mine deceive me, there is a stupendous crash in the offing. Don't worry, Algy. Everything's under control. Control? Fiddlesticks. I fear I'm about to witness a veritable crash of the century. Be glad I can't look. <laughs> See, Algy? Missed by a mile. Missed by a... Oh. Poor Algy. He's faded. Wake up, Algy! Wake up! I tell you, officer, I didn't do it. I was in Africa at the time, rounding up giraffes for different Dorfer's circus. Algy, wake up! Algy, wake up! I'm not the policeman! Don't bother me, officer. Can't you see I'm enjoying a wonderful dream? Oh, the beauty of it! My African giraffes! Captured every one myself! Loaded them on a special freight train! You never saw such a train! Loaded with giraffes as far as the eye could see. Oh, a thrilling sight. It's no dream, Algy. There really is a giraffe car in the wonderful world of trains. Yep. Giraffe cars. <laughs> and they're wonderful like you said. But, Algy, were you really in Africa hunting big game? Boy, you are looking upon the only hunter in the world to catch a full-grown African elephant with a butterfly net. <laughs> I must admit the net was reinforced, do you understand? Egad, what a feat of daring. It was second only to the way I saved the Tehachapi freight from complete disaster. You prevented a train wreck? I think you're fooling me. Boy, if I'm fooling, may a freight full of fish come down the track. Hey, looks like a freight. Hey, it's an aquarium car and you can see the fish swimming around inside it. Oh, yes. <clears throat> oh, yes. A mere coincidence. A trick of fate. A dream. It can't be. He dead. A freight car with fish that swim around. Tell me, how did you save a train from a wreck? Or is that another fish story? Fish story indeed. Your insult hurts me to the core, boy, to the very core. But if my admirers insist on hearing my story, yeah, let's get on with it. Ah, yes. A clear and sunny day it was, not more than two weeks ago. 
I was in my usual position beside the track, waiting for the fast freight to hatch me. Didn't mind the wait a bit. Oh, there was so much to see. There was Willie Fliegelfluger, the railroad maintenance man, going back and forth on his motorized car. Good man, that Willie. Used to be the foreman in a yo-yo factory. Couldn't stand the monotony, so he changed his job. And not so far off, they were unloading a load of lumber from one of those newfangled lumber cars. Beautiful sight to see. Well, sir, I must have been waiting for an hour or more when suddenly she came round the bend. Does the hatch be freight? Nope. It was the general steaming full speed down the main line. Pretty as a picture she was. Then suddenly she slowed right smack in the middle of the right of way. Did something go wrong with the engine? Not really, boy. That engineer just eased up on his throttle while he ate his lunch. You see, it was a mighty hot day and he didn't want to take any chances on his cheese sandwiches going bad. Then it happened. His cheese boiled? No, no, no. The Tehachapi Freight came a-barreling down the main line on the same track as the General. Closer and closer she came. But that engineer and the General just kept on eating his sandwich. I tell you, boy, you never saw such excitement in your life. And on she came, heading straight for the General's middle. Where'd she go? I acted with the speed of light. Reached out with my foot and kicked the switch. Not a second too soon. Took the polish right off my shoe. Gosh! Please, please, boy, it was nothing. Algy? Think you went that away? Algernon Caboose? Oh, well. World traveler? Storyteller? Self-appointed guide, hero of the wonderful world of trains? I didn't do it. I was miles from here, whiling my time away at a drive-in movie. Ah, yes, I remember the picture well, about a policeman who arrested the wrong man. Got 20 years, that policeman did. Algernon, I'm not here to arrest you. You're not? I represent the owners of the Tehachapi Freight Line. Ah, yes. The Tehachapi Freight. I shall long have a soft spot in my heart for that magnificent train. Many of the nights I spent watching the stars from a neg crate on one of her smooth riding flat cars. Tehachapi Freight? Yes, Algy. The Tehachapi Railroad has asked me to present you with this gold medal as a token of their gratitude for saving their train from a wreck. Gosh, Algy, I hope you forgive me for doubting you. I thought your story was just, well, just a story. Oh, think nothing of it, boy. Remember, when you're in the wonderful world of trains, all kinds of wonderful things can happen. Action, thrills, excitement, Wheels, the glint of steel rails. Oh, it gets you, boy. I tell you, there's nothing like it. Nothing like the wonderful world of trains. Huh? Oh, did someone say the wonderful world of trains? Oh, my goodness, my goodness. I must be getting on with it. You, sir, can you tell me the time? The time. I mustn't be late. For I am the guide for the wonderful world of trains, you know. Yeah, yeah. The time, the time, sir. The time? Methinks it's time for me to leave. Uh, beyond a question of a doubt, it is time for me to leave. I'm Algy Caboose, I'm on the loose in the wonderful world of trains. There's plenty of action, thrills and fun across the hills and plains. Cause you control the countryside, it's all at your command. The finest trains you ever saw, the switch is in your hand. So no matter how old or young you are, from six to sixty-five, when you're in the wonderful land of trains, it's great to be alive. Oh, it's great to be alive. Hmm. Odd fellow, curious set of circumstances. Uh, are you there? Officer? Officer? 
What can I do for you, Professor? The show. The show. When does it start? Start? The show? Oh, you mean the wonderful world of trains. Why, Professor, it's just about over. It seems you fell asleep, and a fellow by the name of Algy took over for you. Asleep? I fell asleep? Algy took over. Where is he? Where is he? That, 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 that raggedy rogue, he, he put me to sleep, to sleep. To sleep, oh, to sleep, to sleep, oh, I not to sleep. You can return to your wonderful world of trains tomorrow. The wonderful world of trains has been presented by the Lionel Corporation. Sir Herman J. Hotbox, and you are in the wonderful world of trains. Yes, indeed, that's where you are. Trains, 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 and they're all late. Oh, my. But you can talk. Of course I can talk. I have been talking for years. Started when I was 14 months old. And I might add, I'm getting mighty tired of waiting for the show to start. For I am the narrator and guide for the wonderful world of trains. Oh, yes. Wonderful world of trains. Here, you sir, you sir. Me? Where am I? Who are you? I am Professor Trains. Late, they're all late, 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 late. <coughs> uh, uh, pardon me, Professor. Have you been around long? Around long? Oh, oh, 65 years. Birthday's next week. No, no, no. Auntie, I'll put you here so you can get away in a hurry. Mr. Policeman, I'll put you here so you can see everything. Mr. Professor, I'll put you right here.
Mr. Ralph.